Hey, we are in our bathroom. Hi. And Fiona is gonna be our videographer. You ready, Fiona? So we have some sterile swabs here, and we're going to swab them at the base of the toilet to pick up the bacteria that's down there. Ready? We're gonna moisten it in the bottled water. Now we're gonna wipe it at the base of the toilet to see what kind of bacteria is down here on the floor. So I'm twisting this swab so that all the sides of the swab get covered with bacteria. Mm, Can you see that, Fiona? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go wipe it on our Petri dish. Now we have our Petri dish here. It's labeled on the bottom. This is our control, and we're only gonna grow our bacteria in here. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna wipe this all over the surface of this. This is a growth medium here on what's, the bottom. What's this stuff? So I'm gonna put this in the middle and then I'm going to bring it out to this side, bring it out to this side, this side, like you're drawing a star all the way out so that we cover the whole plate. Okay. That's a six-pointed star. Yep. It's like, kind of like a spider. All right. Now we're going to put it back together. We're going to put it in our incubator. We have an incubator set at 80 to 100 degrees. And we're going to stick this in there. This is the incubator that we have set up. It's just a Rubbermaid container on a heating pad set to low. And then we have a light also above it that provides some warmth. And our thermometer right now is reading just under 100 degrees. So we just wanna watch and make sure it doesn't go over 100 degrees. Master Elijah is going to punch us some discs out of this coffee filter. We have seven discs all ready to sterilize now. It's been about 48 hours and our bacteria has grown so we're going to now create a lawn of bacteria in, in each one of these dishes. And then we're going to use our filter paper discs to put our agents on each dish. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is tear this off. Now we're gonna open this up and fill it with a little bit of clean bottled water. So we're going to pour some of this newly opened bottled water in here. It's at a couple of milliliters. So just a little bit of that in the bag. Now I need you to hold this for me. Now we're going to dip this swab in our bacteria and actually pick up some of that bacteria. So I'm going to swab and twirl it over this one and I'm gonna twirl it over this one so we get a good amount of all of that gross bacteria, those colonies, ew. Okay, so I've got some colonies of bacteria on there. I'm gonna put this out of the way. Now I'm going to dip this, thank you Elijah. I'm gonna dip this down in here, you ready? All the way down in the bottom, and we're gonna swirl it in that water and get it all dispersed in that water. And when that gets all dispersed, we're going to wipe that over all of our petri dishes. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna start with our control disc. We're gonna take our wet swab, we're gonna squeeze out some of the excess, and we're gonna swipe this, Elijah, all over. You ready? Stand up. Look, we're gonna swab this all over here like this. We're We're gonna put that back on the lid, inverted, and put that in our incubator. We're gonna do the same thing with all the rest of our discs. Our Smart Colloidal Silver, which is this one. Our Thieves Hand Purifier, which is this one here. Our Thieves Household Cleaner, which is this one here, and our Thieves Vitality Essential Oil, that one there. 
Okay, so we're gonna do that and we'll come back. Okay, here we have a piece of foil. Inside this foil are our filter paper discs. We baked this at 300 degrees for 30 minutes to sterilize those paper discs. Oh wow. Yep, so we're going to open this in a bit and we're gonna take the discs out with our sterile forceps. We have some sterile hemostats here that I just sterilized by boiling. And we'll grab one of these discs. Make sure there's no bacteria in the nope. air. Well, there's some in the air, but. All right, so this is one disc. And we're going to start with our colloidal silver. So what I'm gonna do is I have a little dish down here. I'm gonna just pour this directly over the um, disc. So we're gonna just drip it until it's saturated. There we go. Make sure it's completely saturated, and it is. All right, shake off any excess. All right, now we're going to take our smart colloidal silver Petri dish that has been seeded with a lawn of bacteria, and we're gonna lay this right in the middle. There we go. All right, we're gonna put our lid on. Looks like a bit of bacteria already. And we're going to invert it and put it in our incubator. What's All right. Oh, that That's the incubator, yep. And we're gonna continue with the rest of these. We're gonna do them all the same way and then put them all in the incubator. Yeah. It's only been six hours, and as you can see, we're already seeing some growth. So this is really exciting. Okay, our experiment is over. All of the dishes are done growing their bacteria, and I'm not even gonna open up the box and show them to you because there's so much gross bacteria in there, I don't even wanna, I don't want it going into the air, I don't wanna breathe it, I don't want these guys to risk touching it and getting sick. So, I will post a picture so you guys can see right here all of the dishes that we cultured. So you can see the Thieves Vitality Essential Oil blew all of the others out of the water. The colloidal silver did have some wonderful antibacterial uh, effect on those germs there. The Thieves Household Cleaner is a great cleaner. You can see how it has a good um, margin around the outside where no bacteria has grown. The Thieves Waterless Hand Purifier didn't look like it did much at all. So I'm thinking um, that's probably, I'm not using it in the, for the intended purpose. The intended purpose is to put it on your hands um, right away and rub it in, not necessarily to sit over the course of a day, day and a half. So that was just something fun that I wanted to, to try out. And as you can see, the control is full of bacteria. So we definitely got a good amount of bacteria growing on all of those dishes, and we can see which disc had the best, the widest effect on those nasty, nasty ickies in those Petri dishes, huh? Mm -hmm. And that was the Thieves Vitality. Now Thieves Vitality is an essential oil supplement, and this is something that our family takes in capsules, especially during the winter. And we just put a couple drops of this in a capsule and then fill the rest with carrier oil. They're very good for supporting your immune system. And then the Thieves Household Cleaner, as you can see, this one did a fairly good job as well. Well, a very good job actually. And this is what we use to clean our house. And I don't feel bad letting my kids use it because it's safe, it's harsh chemical free, it's plant-based, and it smells amazing. And it doesn't have any of the um, harsh chemicals and the poisons that a lot of other cleaners have that would harm my children. So I let them do the cleaning all by themselves and it's a win-win because they get to clean and I don't have to. I was not sure that the disc diffusion method that we used for the Thieves Waterless Hand Purifier was the correct or the best method to use. So we are going to try a different method. Elijah, we are gonna swab your hands and we are going to swab this plate that we have divided in two sections. We're gonna have a before and an after. Okay, Elijah, you ready? I'm gonna dip this in here. Ooh, get the excess off. Now give me your hand. Okay. We're gonna swab this all That's over hard. your hand. <sighs> now we are gonna take our dish, make sure I have the right side. So this is the before, mm. and I'm going to 
swab this on here. I'm gonna go over the whole plate and we're gonna twirl this as we go. Gonna swab this whole thing. And I'll go this way too. What about that side? That side is for after he uses the Thieves Waterless Hand Purifier. We're gonna see how huh. well it purifies his hands. When we're in the car, Mommy says, here, put some of this on your hands and rub it in. Can so, I have some? Go ahead, rub it in. All over. Between your fingers, on your fingers, all the ways Mommy tells you to do it. All over really well. Back and forth. In the cracks. No, not just like this. Like hard. Do it hard. There you go. Okay. Good job. No, don't, oh, don't touch anything else afterwards. You can't touch the counter. Put your hand out. Put your hand out. Okay, now we're going to swab your hand. Hold it still. Hold it still right there. And we're going to swab your hands in the same places, the same way we did before. Uh, uh, so we're gonna go on there. Put your fingers out straight. There you go. We're gonna go down your fingers. <laughs> All over your palm. Okay, get yeah. down. Go play. Okay. I'm gonna stay okay. over here. Now I will do it on the after the Thieves Waterless Hand Purifier side. We're gonna go back and forth on this side. Now we're going to close this, we're going to put it in our incubator, and we'll find out how well we're cleaning our hands when we're out and about in town. Okay. Alright, as you can see here, we let the petri dish culture for about 24 hours, and there's a little bit of bacterial growth over on the right hand side, but not a whole lot, certainly less than before he used the hand purifier. He did reach down and touch the counter, and he didn't apply the hand purifier really well, so that could be why there's a little bit of bacterial growth there. I did want to point out one thing on the colloidal silver. This picture was taken after these dishes had cultured for 48 hours, and as you can see, a little bit of bacteria has begun to grow back around the disc with the colloidal silver on it. After the first 24 hours, there was a very clear zone of inhibition around the colloidal silver, but then after another 24 hours, that bacteria started to grow in that area. This was not the case with the Thieves Household Cleaner or the Thieves Vitality Essential Oil. But just to be sure, I went ahead and cultured another dish with the colloidal silver a second time, and this picture was taken after 24 hours. We had a couple of extra dishes left over, so I decided to also culture some oregano vitality essential oil and some hyssop just to see what happened. If you've done any research at all into oregano oil or oregano essential oil, you know this is very powerful stuff, as you can clearly see here. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.